Hey guys, what's going on? Stokonic here, and today we're going to be doing an overview of the Grandpa Gohan card and event. The event being the Masked Martial Artist. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. So let's go ahead and start off by going over the card. Uh, first off, the card is called Contemplated Strategies Grandpa Gohan. This is his Undoken version. His leader skill is Strength Type Key Plus 3. Super attack is Kamehameha, causes huge damage to the enemy. Passive skill is Master Roshi's Finest Disciple. Key Plus 1 at the start of the turn. Link skills are Turtle School, Kamehameha, All in the Family, Bombardment, and The Incredible Adventure. His max stats, a little bit lackluster, HP of 6625, attack of 5585, and defense of 3269. And he is attainable from his event, the Master Martial Artist. He Doken Awakens with a whole bunch of medals that you're going to need. Um, seven medals from his own event on the 100 team cost event, which is the second stage. Um, and you're going to need the Turtle Medals and the Bulma Medals, which are available either through Baba Shop or through the World Tournament Grind. Now, Dogen Awakens to Fabled Champion, Grandpa Gohan. His new leader skill is Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 20%. So he is a mini Strength Type leader. You're going to want him in the future. So essentially, assuming we get the same thing that JP had, they got the Goku event, the LR Goku event, in. And Goku is a physical type throughout. He's going to play a very vital role because he is going to be a little mini nuker or mini leader, demigod leader. And you're going to want to have him as your leader of the team when Goku, that Goku event comes out. You're going to have him and you're going to want to run that LR Frieza and he's going to buff LR Frieza really well. Uh, but let's go over the rest of his stats. Super attack is Turtle School for Virtues. He causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Power of the Turtle School. Key plus 3 in attack and defense plus 2,000 at the start of turn. So not only is he an amazing leader, he's automatically giving himself key plus three. And the attack and defense buff is kind of meh, but that key plus three really comes in handy. Assuming you're running two Grandpa Gohan leads, you're going to be having him at key, at key of nine, with just off the bat. Assuming no links go up, all he needs is three orbs in order to do a super attack. His link schools are Turtle School, All in the Family, Bombardment, The Incredible Adventure, Guidance to the Dragon Balls, and Super Strike. His max stats are HP of 7643, attack of 6990, and defense of 3850. So again, not an amazing unit, but he is very viable, and he's going to be super viable on the LR Goku event that may come in the future. So he does expect to see him in my videos. Now let's go over the event, the Mass Martial Artist. Level 1 is the Master Martial Artist, you go up against Grandpa Gohan, he has an abysmal drop rate, I remember when the event first came out, I had to grind it about 70 times just to get him Super Attack 10, it was a pain in the ass, I hated it, and the map is just large, so trying to navigate through that map is a pain in the butt, but get him, get him as, get one unit of him at Super Attack 10, and get a second one at Super Attack 5, that way you can token him both of them, and get them to Super Attack 15. Now, if you don't have those Bulma and Turtle Medals, you're going to have to wait in order to get them. It is a pain in the butt because they are needed in order to get them, and they don't, they're do not they not super available. Um, again, they're available from the World Tournament Grind, or you can get them from the Baba Shop. Or, if you were lucky enough to play when the Rabbit Mob event was there, you can clear Stage 2 of the Rabbit Mob event three times for three Bulma Medals, and only you only get it one time. Um, or clear Stage 2 of the Rabbit Mob event ten times for four Bulma Medals. So you will get some Bulma Medals at least from that. Um, outside of that, uh, if you clear Stage 2 of the event one time, you get three Turtle Medals, and clear Stage 2 of the Rabbit Mob event seven times for four Turtle Medals. So essentially, the Rabbit Mob event gives you those medals for Doken Awakening. Um, uh, the reasoning, but most likely, is because you need to, you were, those are required in order to Doken Awaken the Bulmas. Uh, but that's just where you're going to have to get those medals from. Um, additional information... Uh, Higher difficulty is more likely to drop the Grandpa Gohan card. Uh, grab the prize Zenny by defeating Hercule if you see Hercule. Grab extra Zenny by defeating the Pilaf gang in that robot suit, the intelligent one. Um, on Z Hard, it's about 15,000 Zenny. I'm not really that much. Uh, now let's go over level 2 behind the mask. I haven't played this as of yet, but it's a standard Super Strike event. You can't exceed a team cost of 100, so you're going to have to make sure you use lower cost units. Now, me personally, I usually just go in there with 
two Vegitos, my Vegito, Super Vegito, and Vegito lead. And I just go in there and I have counter. Um, I bring some damage reduction items, some healing items, and I just go full town. Because, I mean, I, the only time I ever use items are on events like this just because you don't really need them on the big Dokken events because there's no real restrictions there. Uh, most I use on those is healing items. But, yeah, um, you could do that if you have OP units. If not, you're going to have to play a little bit more strategically and figure out what cards go where. If you are looking for filler units, again, I'm not going to do this right now in terms of a full team building guide. I'm just going to go over one from the tactics page from the wiki. Uh, make sure you do some friend summon pulls and get any of the agility, like normal cards that are available. Uh, put them on your team. See if you could awaken them if the team cost won't go over. Uh, just so that way when, if Grandpa Gohan hits them, he's not doing as much damage because the default is a physical type card. It's a physical Cyberman. And if he hits a physical Cyberman, he's going to do a lot of damage. You don't want that. Uh, but yeah, uh, you get the, you get one Dragonstone from clearing the events, and again, your team cost can't exceed 100, so it's going to be a little bit more tactical there. He is worth it. I recommend doing it just because he's a really good strength leader. Uh, the tactic team that they have set up is going to be the Pai Kuhan leader, which is agility and strength type key plus 3. Um, his super attack lowers the attack. It also only causes huge damage, but it lowers the attack. And his passive skill gives all allies uh, attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or above. Um, now, a lot of the cards that they recommend here are from the World Tournament Baba Shop pulls. Or not Baba Shop, uh, the World Tournament Dragon Ball pulls. They're all... You have the um, Devil Man. You have um, is it bandages. or Yeah, band, bone dry battle bandages. The impressive ninja skills, Murasaki. Uh, you have Giren, um, the winged beast Giren, and then it says this one simple-minded devil cell agility card. The end, normal card, and then they have a Vegeta Blue leader, or not Vegeta Blue, a Super Vegeta leader, which is the agility type. Um, a lot of these guys, all, all the ones from the Dragon Ball summon saga summons, they all share links together. Uh, Guidance of the Dragon Balls and the Incredible Adventure, which is an attack and a key buff, and. Uh, the Devil Man and Bandages share Fortune Teller, Teller Baba's Fighter. Uh, and then you also have Super Vegito and Pai Kuhan with a Shocking Speed. Obviously, your the, the Super Vegito is going to be your damage dealer, but it's not going to be ideal for most of you just because um, you're probably, if, if you're looking for better strategy, you probably don't have some really OP units and you're probably not higher rank. If you're not, you might not be able to find a lot of Super Vegitos on your friends list. If you can, good for you. Use them run a full agility team and just make sure you have a key plus three leader and agility key plus three leader on top of a super vegeta friend if you don't have him that'll make life a little bit easier or hey you know what if you find a majin vegeta you might want to do that and just remember that if you run a majin vegeta he has a higher team cost so the lr majin vegeta i'm talking about might not be as viable just because he has such a high team cost the thing is what 77 so you'd probably essentially have to have a majin vegeta you might be able to get away with uh, an undoken version of Pai Kuhan just to give the agility type key plus three and then run an entire team of normal agility types. Undoken. Or sorry, un Awakened. Uh, but yeah, those are just some recommendations there. I recommend going for this event. I remember I recommend getting that Grandpa Gohan. He is super viable. He is super useful. He's going to be really good on the LR Go Goku event. And he is probably going to be available for use in the future. Also, for free-to-play users... He is going to be your number one pick for a strength type, uh, a mono strength team leader if you don't have any other good leaders. So if you don't have the old school OG Broly, if you don't have the new LR Broly, if you don't have Cell, if like the, the strength Cell, um, and if you don't have the Omega Shenron, this is going to be your pick. I mean, I haven't gone over the free to play leaders or, no, not free to play leaders, but uh, on non Doken exclusive leaders for strength type, but especially if you're just starting out, you're going to want to get him because he's going to be your number one choice for a leader on a mono strength team. You'll use him and then let's say you use a Broly, an LR Broly or an Omega Shenron or some other really good leader. He'll at least add on to that buff because you're going to get that key and attack and health buff, which is super, super viable. He'll actually make other Dokken events in the future, but, but sorry, I don't mean to ramble on guys. Um, that's it. That's the entire extent of the event. Those are the cards. Those are my recommendations and that's just one team you could run. Um, I'll be going over a little bit more in-depth team once the event comes out, and I'll be doing some gameplay. Hope that helped you out. Thank you all for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video.